Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello everyone, welcome to second PUC statistics online classes. Today we are going to discuss the topic is steps in fitting a Poisson distribution. What is the meaning of fitting a Poisson distribution? The meaning of fitting a Poisson distribution is to fit Poisson distribution to observed frequency distribution. We know the format of observed frequency distribution that is value variable along with its frequency that is F. Here x is value of variable and f is frequency. Next, to construct fitting a Poisson distribution, there are important steps to be considered. In that first step is calculate mean of observed frequency distribution. See here observed frequency distribution that is f and x and f. How to calculate mean of observed frequency distribution? To calculate observed mean of observed frequency distribution, we using the formula x bar is equal to summation fx divided by capital letter n. Then step 2 is equate mean of observed frequency distribution that is x bar and mean of Poisson distribution. We know that mean of observed frequency distribution is x bar that is equal to mean of Poisson distribution is lambda. Here lambda is theoretical mean of Poisson distribution. And step 3 is find first term of probability distribution that is p of 0 using the pmf that is probability mass function that is the formula is p of x is equal to e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power x divided by x factorial here instead of x here 0 is there so in the place x put 0 so this is equal to p of 0 is equal to e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power 0 divided by 0 factorial. Next, fourth step is find first term of theoretical frequency distribution. Okay. To calculate first term of theoretical frequency distribution, we using the formula Tx is equal to n into P of x. Here first, how to write first term of theoretical frequency that is in the place x put 0. Okay. This is equal to n into p of 0. Okay, next step that is fifth one is here we found first term of theoretical frequency then remaining frequencies are obtained by using recurrence relation formula. Then recurrence relation formula is Tx is equal to lambda divided by x into Tx minus 1. Next, the last step that is sixth one is write both frequencies that is observed frequency and theoretical frequency okay write both observed frequency and theoretical frequency in the table so that comparison can be made easily these are the important steps to fit a Poisson distribution okay let's see how to solve the problem using steps in fitting a Poisson distribution the problem is fit a Poisson distribution to the data and obtain expected frequency. Here observations are given. The first column is number of mistakes per page that is x observations and the second column is number of pages that is frequencies. Okay, we know that the first step is calculate mean of observed frequency distribution to the formula is x bar is equal to summation fx divided by capital letter M. Here, observations are given that is x and f. So, we need to calculate sum of fx. So, next column we need to generate that is f into x. See here x observation is 0 and f observation is 211. So, 0 into 211 is 0. Next observation is 1. Here x observation is 1 and f observation is 90. 1 into 90 that is 90. Next x observation is 2 f observation is 19 so 2 into 19 is 38 okay next x observation is 3 
f observation is 5, 3 into 5 is 15. Okay, next 4, x observation is 4 and f observation is 0. So, 4 into 0 is 0. Okay, here we got the observation of f and x. Next, we need to calculate sum of fx that is 90 plus 38 plus 15 that is 143. Okay. Now, in our formula, we calculated sum of fx. Next, we need to calculate capital letter N that is total of frequency. So, here first observation is 211 plus 90 plus 19 plus 5 that is 325. Okay. I will substitute these values in the formula that is this is equal to sum of fx is 143 divided by capital letter N is 325. Then x bar is 143 divided by 325 that is 0 0.44. Okay, next step 2. How to calculate step 2 that is equate mean of observed frequency distribution and free, uh, next is, is this one Poisson distribution. See here observed frequency mean of observed frequency distribution is x bar this is equal to mean of Poisson distribution is lambda. Okay, here we got the value of x bar that is 0 0.44. So, here lambda also 0 0.44. Okay, now we got the value of lambda. Okay, next we need to calculate first term of probability. Before that we have to write probability mass function. That is P of x is equal to e to the power minus lambda lambda to the power x divided by x factorial here x takes the value 0 1 2 so on okay next we need to calculate first term of probability that is p of 0 is equal to e to the power minus lambda here lambda is 0 0.44 into lambda to the power that is 0 0.44 to the power 0 divided by 0 factorial okay this is equal to e to the power minus lambda as it is into 0 0.44 to the power 0 that is 1 divided by 0 factorial is 1. Okay, this is equal to e to the power minus 0 0.44 is 0 0.644 into 1 is 0 0.644 divided by 1 is 0 0.644. So, P of 0 is 0 0.644. Okay, next we need to calculate first term of theoretical frequency. So, to calculate first term of theoretical frequency, we using the formula Tx is equal to n into P of x. See here, how to calculate the first term of uh, theoretical frequency? that is n into p of 0. Why? Because here instead of x, here 0 is there. So, we have to write in the place x 0. Okay, now, I will substitute the values. So, n, what is n? That is 325. So, in the place n, I will write 325 into p of 0. p of 0 is 0 0.644. Okay, now, t of 0 is 325 into 0 0.644. So, T of 0 is 209.3. Okay, we got first term of theoretical frequency. Okay, next remaining theoretical frequencies are obtained by using recurrence relation formula. The recurrence relation formula is Tx is equal to lambda by x into x minus 1. Okay, now, so T naught is over, next is T1, next term of frequency distribution. So, T1 is equal to lambda, that we know lambda is 0 0.44 divided by x, in the place x here is 1 is there, so here is 1 into, see here this is Tx minus 1. Here x is 1. So, what is Tx? Here x is 1. So, 1 minus 1. So, 1 minus 
so this is 1 minus 1 in the sense 0 so this is t0 so what is t0 t0 is 209.3 so in the place t0 i will substitute 209.3 okay now uh, t1 is 0 0.44 divided by 1 into 209.3 then answer is 92.09 okay now we got the value of t1 next we need to calculate t2 okay now in the place x here 2 is there so substitute in the instead of x 2 that is lambda is 0 0.44 divided by x is 2 so i will write in the place x2 into c here in the x2 so 2 minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 is 1 okay now we need to substitute here t1 value so t1 value is 92.09 okay, this is equal to 0.44 divided by 2 into 92.09 the value is 20.26 ok now next we need to calculate t3 ok now in the place x here 3 is there so substitute here lambda is 0 0.44 divided by x is 3 so in the place x i will write 3 into c now here x is 3, see here x is 3, 3 minus 1 that is 2, that is t2, ok now t2 value is 20.6, so in the place t2 I will substitute 20.26, ok this is equal to 0. 0. Yeah, this is equal to 0. 0.44 divided by 3 into 20.26 that is 29.71 yeah okay next next observation that is t4 this is equal to here uh, yes x is 4 so i will substitute 0 0.44 divided by in the place x i will write 4 into here t3 is there that is in the place x i will write 3 3 minus 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so this is t2 i'm sorry this is 4 right yeah in the place x here 4 is there 4 minus 1 that is t3 so in the place t3 i will substitute t3 value that is 29.1 7, 1. Okay, this is equal to yeah, 0 0.44 divided by 4 into 29.71. Yeah, before that I will check this T3 value. This is 0 0.44 divided by 3 into 20.9 20 20.26 that is 2 point, I am sorry, this is not 29.71, this is 2.97. Ok, now I will substitute in the place T3, that is 2.97. Ok, now T4 value is 0 0.44 divided by 4 into 2.97, that is 0 0.52. Now, now I will take approximate values. Okay, see here T naught that is the first frequency. So I will take it as approximately 209.3 is 209 and here the next frequency is 92.09. I will take it as 92. Okay, next this is 20.26 that I will take 20. And this is 2.97, I will take approximately 3. Here this is 0 0.52, so I will take approximately 1. Okay, now I will write both frequencies, that is 
observed frequency and theoretical frequency in the table so that comparison can be made easily here number of mistakes per page that is x observations are 0 1 2 3 and 4 the number of mistakes that is f observations are 2 11 90 19 5 and 0 then here sum of observations are 325 Okay, now I will write expected frequencies. Okay, here see the question we need to calculate expected frequencies. So, here expected frequencies are first observation is 209, next is 92, next 20, next 3, the last one is 1. Okay, I will check sum of the observation of expected frequency that is 209 plus 92 plus 20 plus 3 this is also 325 yes thank you for watching this video